Welcome back, everybody, to yeah, Space Engineers. Okay, well, the world has progressed quite substantially since the last episode due to a few problems I've been having with the recording. I've recorded like half hour, hour episodes, and I haven't been able to actually edit them, so that, that's been a problem. Hopefully, today's episode will go out. But uh, I'll just fill you in on everything that's just happened. This is my new welding ship. Pretty much it's based on a large cargo container with a connector and two of these twin welders. One pointing forwards and one pointing down. It's made it very, very easy to make my pipeline, which I have going from the main base all the way up the hill to the nickel mine. The nickel mine is currently running. To connect the nickel mine to the main station, I've had to use my, the uh, boom arm that I have for, from the nickel mine and with a connector. So that's how we're moving our ores. And that is currently doing its job. Mining away these quite nicely. Now, down to our other little mining operation with the iron. That's been going pretty much hell for leather and doing quite well also. It's, whoop, I've got too much velocity. <laughs> right, let's go down to this hole. Now, I'm going to have to change the direction of these drills at some stage to get this uh, section of iron. But uh, that has actually been going pretty much continuously. All these pistons are very slowly extracting, so I don't have to come down here at all. And uh, changing the drill direction from pointing into the face edge and pointing to the side is actually a lot better when it comes to these sort of rotation, rot rotating mining arms. Another thing I found too, with the rotor that I had here, you get the usual rotor shakes, right? I put a gyroscope here to build it, and once I placed it, the whole thing settled down. So this is just a wire frame. Maybe you don't need a completed gyroscope to settle these things down, but uh, yeah, give it a go. If your rotors start to bouncing up and down, just place one down and see if it stabilizes. You may have to build it, you may not, but that was actually kind of really, really weird. Alright, back up out of the hole. And back down to the base. As you can notice here, the, I've expanded on the assemblers, added another refinery. Now, each of these uh, assemblers here, they're dedicated. They're dedicated to building one thing. Like this one, just motors. I have a, another assembler which you can hear running. That is continually just making me construction components. The results of these assemblers, which keep running continuously, are going into dedicated cargo containers. They're a little bit messed up right about now because uh, I've had a little trouble with sorting. But I'm using the uh, automatic inventory sorting mod, or currently known as in the uh, modding community as AIS, to basically filter out all the other the, the components into a specific uh, cargo containers, they're going to be piped up into the conveyors here at the, on the roof of the structure to a connector. And that connector is but what well, basically feeds. Oh, oxygen is low, really? I was. I had my helmet on for some strange reason. Very strange reason, in fact. Maybe I died once or, once or twice. All right, and I've actually used some of these curve blocks, which gives a really, really nice curved uh, corner to the the to the structure itself. Now, 
the block around the edge is curved, right? But it actually uh, kind of slopes the block underneath it, which is kind of interesting. So I'm definitely going to be uh, having a look at using curved blocks a little bit more often in ship builds. But today, I would really like to expand my refining for a starter. And also, I would really, really like to... Basically, I've got a mod installed called Industrial Centrifuge. And that, with that, I'm able to use all the stone that I'm getting from my mining facilities and refine them down into gravel and then extract trace amounts of ores that I can use in future future builds, f f everything. And this is a kind of a little cheaty way to get platinum, but you won't get a huge amount of platinum if you don't do things big. That's, the, that's the, gonna be the big thing. But I have a little problem. And of course with Space Engineers, there's always little problems that uh, tend to crop up. And it's these trees. So today we're gonna build a little ship designed specifically to ram into trees. So let's get the uh, thing back up again. Right, it's going to be a, a small vehicle. Very small vehicle, and I don't have any construction components. <laughs> okay, let's just pull them out from there. It's gonna be a tiny, tiny little ship. Very tiny, but uh, I think I might actually steal some steel plates as well and probably some interiors just in case. This is going to be a tiny little ship, ridiculously tiny. Now, I've actually knocked down trees. I'll just keep talking while I'm working. I've knocked down trees with uh, my avatar. However, killing my avatar, mind you, but... And so you don't really need a lot of mass to knock down trees. You just need speed. So, right, we'll get our uh, heavy armor block because... This, this guy is going to take some uh, beating. Okay, so that's the start of it. All we need is a front. And engines, pretty much. Engines, a remote control, a reactor, and a camera, pretty much. So I don't know how much for beating a camera will take, but it's going to be f interesting to find out. So there's that. I probably will actually keep this uh, land. This um, could I actually build underneath that. No, I can't. Well, that's a shame. All right, we'll just have a small. Yeah, that should do it. And a bit of a front fascia on that, so let's just jump up a little bit. That should pretty much do it. So we'll get our remote. Place that uh, in here like that. And then grab our camera. I think I should have a camera on a hotbar. Remote. Uh, I thought I had a camera on a hotbar. Yeah, I do. Here we go. <laughs> it's going to be a really, really, really basic ship. Okay, nine. Thrusters. Pointing in the right direction. I'm going to need a little bit more lengthen this thing so six to go back to the jets yeah lovely so lots of forward propulsion now um can i actually to neaten this up a little bit can i remove this block no, I can't. 
Ah, it was worth a shot. So maybe what I'll do, I'll actually install the downwards thrusting first. And of course I can't put that in without another block. Six. The backbone as you will. Okay. Now we can put our downward thruster in. Why would it let me actually put it there? Ah, probably because of the uh, landing gear. Hmm. Okay, well, I suppose we'll go with the game's mechanics. There and there. I thought I would uh, not time lapse this and we'll just. Yeah. No, 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 no. Doesn't look right. Doesn't look right. This is the sort of thing I go through with pretty much all of my ship building is I'm basically try and consider the aesthetic pro properties of the vessel while I'm actually building it. All right. That out in the front. That out there. Now what we could do is knock out those two blocks there. Uh, land and we'll have the uh, side to side uh, jets coming out of the middle of the craft I'm also going to need one actually pointing outwards so to basically back the truck up should I need it although yes definitely gonna I didn't need definitely need brakes Hmm. Well, we've got two front facing us backwards. Let's have a couple. F uh, no. I'll keep the uh, jets actually behind the battering ram, as I suppose we're going to call the vessel. So that's that. So that's forward, forward. Just need to get those side on thrusters constructed in right let's get the grinder back out two hopefully yeah that worked lovely good excellent So actually I could install one there, like that. One there like that. Ah, nice. That looks pretty cool. So all I need to now put in is a gyroscope, a reactor or two. So gyroscope in there, beautiful. Uh, I might put a couple gyroscopes in. And uh, basically a couple reactors. I was meant to actually land on that, but I should might turn my own headlights off. Oh, that's a little bit better, don't you think? I do. Now yeah, reactors. I uh, don't need a large reactor. Just need a small one. Here we are, number six. So we'll flip that up like that. I might put three down. Uh, I can't put it there. I can definitely put it there, though. All right. So let's fill up the rest of the uh, area with heavy metal blocks. It's going to be one heavy little ship. It's going to have a lot of mass. And it's going to get rid of my trees for me once and for all. All right. 
actually, uh, I'm going to... I just had a thought. About... We were commenting about the uh, rounded armor blocks beforehand. Let's actually use them, shall we? Eight. So let's use this top row around here and we'll actually start using the uh, rounded armor blocks so we can actually see how they actually work. Like that, like that, awesome, okay, so we'll go G, uh, I think it's in the sloped, here we are, heavy armor round slope, that's angled, uh, it's got different patterns too, heavy armor round, he rounded heavy armor, I don't know what the difference is, to be quite frank. But we're going to use that anyway. So if we... Uh, hang on. There is there is actually a corner, if I remember rightly. So G. We'll go heavy. It's inverse... Heavy rounded, heavy rounded corner. Okay, I'm assuming that these three, so that's angled, angled, so th those will actually go together. I hope anyway. Right. Come on. <laughs> there we go. So I'll stick one in there, one in there. Now, you notice, just notice how the rest of this is actually going to uh, turn out. So we've got an angle there, angle there. there I think uh, there is a bit of a space back here we can actually fill in one there Oops, I think I need my lights now. I can't place it in there. Why not? I was able to place that one. Why can't I place this one? Ah, I see. What I need to do is actually place, because it's hanging off of this block here. So we go six. I'm gonna have to change that block it those two blocks out. Seven. Like that and six. Nice. That is essentially the vehicle. Let's jump in jump into the uh, all massive welder. And we'll weld this up. Right. Initializing takeoff protocols. Okay. Uh, we'll undock the things there. Right. Let's go into third person view. As uh, fuel goes for this uh, particular th uh, thing, it actually works fairly well. I am running a little bit low on uranium, however, so I'm going to have to look at... Ah, beautiful. The benefit of actually having a welder pointing down. I 
definitely look like it looks like I'm missing a few components. Or perhaps not. There we go, completely built. So yeah. If you're actually making a, a welding ship, have welders pointing down. It's a lot easier. Ridiculously easier. Okay, coming in for landing. There we go. Touchdown. Awesome. Lock them down. Turn those off. And as if you notice, the, uh, I think it's actually a standard thing now that, oh, okay, so those slopes don't actually blend into those corners. What I could do is actually change those blocks out for corners, but this is actually not too bad. I might do that a little bit later, make it a really nice rounded out bullet. But now we just need a little bit of uranium to get this thing up off the ground. Let's steal it from here, shall we? I should have been able to access that from there. Still about six kilos. Confirm. Shouldn't really need that much, to be honest. I do like the uh, the curved blocks that how they actually merge together. They actually do look really, really, really nice. Actually, what I could do for the the I suppose the what would you call it the component storage roof hut thing. I could actually be used uh, corners to actually go down the size there. I might uh, patch that up at a later date. So let's move three into there. Actually, should actually move three. Should have moved something else. Um, should have moved two instead. So that means I've only got 1.5 to actually put in here. Confirm. And put the rest in there. Beautiful. And I just realized. That, that reactor is actually in the way. <laughs> Luckily I, have, I don't have thruster damage actually on these things. So if I had. I might just take that out. Hmm. I don't know if it is actually going to uh, impede on the backwards capabilities of this vessel. Oh, the other thing I didn't actually put in? A remote control. An antenna. Actually, I've got the remote control. The antenna's missing. <laughs> As you see, the, uh, the atmospheric thrusters, they've got spinning blades. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Right, let's uh, find the antenna and we'll actually have to install that. I just realized it's like, oh, I was missing something. All right, where are we going to put you? Where you're not going to be a problem. Uh, and going to be safe. I think what I'll do, I will actually take that uh, nuclear reactor out and I'm going to put the antenna there. Just make sure. Yeah, I did remove it. Awesome. Go to eight. Get rid of you. Get the antenna. Wherever I left it. <laughs> Not there. Ah, there you are. Number five. Now, I can't place that in there. Why? I need small steel tubes. These things are notoriously cheap, so I might be able to just uh, weld this up by hand. And nine. 
need some radio control communication components. I don't know if I've got that in this in the uh, big welder. Oh, I do too. Awesome. I may have to change out some of the colors on the blocks to black, like black proper. I think I'm actually working with the really dark gray, not the actual black black. Alright, let's get rid of all this stuff into the main world. The good thing about having a large cargo container, you can fit a lot in there. Okay, now we'll be able to control our little ship. Okay, that's that ship. I should actually rename this ship. And I'm going to call it the OCD uh, Nightmare. And uh, if you can leave something down in the comment section to uh, tell... If you can pick what is actually wrong with this ship and for anybody with OCD, leave it down in the comment section. But I'm sure anybody who knows their ships well enough will actually pick it. Right, now let's go back to the uh, control panel. Uh, I think it's this one. Gyroscope 3, 4, uh, or detector. No, that's the... Have I just renamed the wrong... Long range spotlight, wheel suspension. Aha, no, that's the wrong one. Damn. Uh, info. That's the truck that's uh, <laughs> in no in not in not service. Well, I'm not using it. Okay, control panel of this one. This is the tree smasher. So info. Tree smasher. Okay. So that would leave this one to be the OCD nightmare. Okay. So let's go to the uh, tree smasher here. Uh, we'll just have that, go in those, put them in a block group called thrusters, so we can turn this thing on and off. Okay, tree smasher, remote control, control. Okay, we're in control right now. Get the camera view, go to view, and get the groups, thrusters on and off, more blocks, and landing gear, switch lock, okay currently we're locked, apparently we can turn with the lock. Which is quite interesting. Right, we go to the view. We've got a fuel time for eight hours. Not bad, not bad at all. It's a shame that we can't actually do third person view with a camera. All right, three. Okay, I did, did I just do that wrong? Did I just do that wrong? Probably did. Okay, is this you saying is ready? Yep, I did do it wrong. Switch lock. Toggle on and off. Hmm. It is unlocked. Is the ship actually too heavy for the thrusters? <laughs> that could be a problem, actually. 
So I may need to actually put two, like a few more the downward thrusters on this thing. Tree smasher, remote control, control. It's drying, it's drying, it must be that heavy. It can't get up. I need some more downward thrust. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're going to do a quick cut here and uh, I'm just going to fiddle with this. All right, there we go. All I did need was just an extra thruster. Gonna have to probably uh, do some little bit of molding around that, I reckon, to get the ship actually looking to be the bullet that it needs to be. So we'll test it out on this tree here. So let's go to our control panel. Go to Tree Smasher. Remote control, control. All right, get into the camera mode. All the thrusters are on. Let's undock. Ah, uh, it's currently overloading. That's a problem. It doesn't have enough reactors. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to have to fiddle with this a little bit more. Actually, uh, what we'll do, we'll unlock. We'll bring the tree smasher and we're going to put it right in front of my welder. Come on. And it's even, yeah. We, we need more... Um, Definitely going to need some more power. So I'm gonna, probably actually going to even need that third reactor, or even a fourth one. So remote control. Control. Uh, we'll lock you down. Three. There you go. Turn your engines off. Might actually just have to put them in uh, around here and I'll just have to readjust the heavy plates. All right. Do, 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 do. Reactors, reactors, reactors. You're here. New. Here you are. Six. Nice hey, steel plates. Hmm. Actually, what I'll do, I'll just grind out these corners as nice as they look. They're not actually contributing, and I'll, I would have had to grind them out anyway. Yep, space and engineers. It's a problem. It's a it's a problem fixer's dream. All right, now let's get those reactors. Six. Well, putting it out to the side. Uh, I can't put them there. Well, I'll put one there. Let, let's go. Let's go crazy. Let's put uh, like six on. It's going to be no excuse for not having enough power. None at all. Alright, so let's just hop into the ship here. Turn the welders on. <laughs> there we go. The range on the, the uh, twin welders is fantastic. Makes it very easy to build ships, I can tell you that for sure. Uh, I'm going to have to sneak some more uranium. Where am I going to find some? Ooh. I don't have no uranium here. Small reactor. Where is that small reactor? Ah, I know where that uranium is. Control panel. Uh, no, actually, I just want to check my inventory. How much gas have I got? Not a hell of a lot. 
let's regas that um, uranium that we just saw there. That's up at uh, up at the nickel mine. Go for a quick fly. We. Into the night. Yeah, that uranium's up here. So we're going to pull 30 kilos. Actually, uh, I do want to leave it only 10. So to add... 29 so okay it's left at 10 kilos up here small reactors actually with uh, like drilling platforms like that they'll go forever with a small amount of uranium ships on the other hand that uh, welder actually goes through quite a fair bit <laughs> to the point it I could actually almost do with uh, a few reactors Right, so we've got four. We'll move, say, f uh, have about five kilos in each. Then there's going to be absolutely no excuse for power. All right, you've got all the power in the world, my little friend. Now let's see what you can do. Control panel of the tree smasher. Remote control, control, camera. All right, we've got three megawatts of power. Okay, I probably only needed a couple more. We've got fuel time of a day. And it's not too bad. I could have almost actually installed lights. Lights would have been good. Alright, let's line this tree up. And full bore into the tree and bang! <laughs> And I think the tree's gone. What happened to the ship? The ship is upside down. Oh, I didn't actually put any thrusters on the side. <laughs> well, maybe I might be able to roll it over. I needed some actually upward thrusters to get, to basically get it to roll over. Uh, control. Whoa. Where do you think you're going? And apparently... Hmm, <laughs> that's a problem. I got rid of the tree, all right. The tree, the tree's gone now. Uh, my other little problem is I can't actually get this thing back up right. And apparently having a clear path with thrusters is required. So I'm going to have to do something about that too. So probably actually putting like the forward thrusters underneath here along these backwards ones. Oh no. I actually did lose that thruster. Huh. So that's why the forward thruster don't work no more, because it's not even there. Alright, let's, uh, I'll just go to a quick cut, and, oh, actually, maybe not. I think it's a good time to actually wrap up the episode, but this is the being the tree smasher. It works, it just needs a little bit more thrust to, um, basically get it, pick itself up after the smash. But the front end of it has actually suffered quite well. Quite well indeed, so I'm going to be basically clearing out a lot more trees and expanding the base even more so we can get to 
process my stone so I can get uh, all those nice little extra little bits of minerals. Okay, folks, well, I've been Raytech. I'll see you next time.